Number eight, predict and test the behavior of alpha particles fired at a plum pudding model atom. And then I see A, B, and C, so I'm just going to write A, B, and we'll do C, I guess, down here. Okay. All right, so for A, it says, predict the paths taken by alpha particles that are fired at atoms with a Thompson plum pudding model structure. Explain why you expect the alpha particles to take these paths. Okay, so just quickly, um, you know, information on the Thompson plum pudding model. Here is a picture in your textbook about what a plum pudding looks like. So I believe it's a an English um, dessert. It looks pretty good. I like dessert. But if you can see here in this dessert, you have, you know, the brownish majority of it being like the brownish, uh, you know, it's probably flour, but inside you have the individual plums, right, that are different colors from the actual cake. So you can see it in here. I'm just coloring them in here. So that's why they call it a plum pudding model, because Thompson created this model to kind of resemble what a plum pudding looks like. Now over here, this is what the model is talking about, right? It's talking about if I had a plum pudding, protons and electrons exist in the same space. So if you see here, all of the positives would be technically, I'll do this in a different color to not confuse you, but the actual cake or the pudding, right, would be positive. Let's get another color in here. I guess we'll do black, it stands out. And the actual plums would be negative. So if you see here, the actual plums would be negative, that's why there's all negatives all over the place, representing electrons, and in the same space, you have protons being positive, right? So that's what, what the plum pudding model was all about, that just protons and, neut and electrons existed in the same space. Now, we just have to predict the paths taken by alpha particles. Now, we should know that alpha particles are basically just helium atoms. And helium atoms have um, basically a four and a two if we looked it up on the periodic table. So this has two protons, which makes it positive, right? So we just have to predict here. Now this answer doesn't have to be right or wrong, right? It just says predict the paths taken. But technically, if you have positives in your plum pudding, right, they're all over the place, and if you're shooting alpha particles at it and it has protons, right, what happens when two of the same things come together? They will repel each other. So with this type of model, the alpha particles should basically repel, right, the... Um, we'll say the structure, the atom, the atoms, right? Because positives will deflect away from positives. So you should see like shooting off at, you know, many different angles. It would not go through. So I'm going to say would not directly go through the atom. Now, once again, your prediction could be anything, right? It's just a prediction, a hypothesis, an educated guess. But I'm saying that if we're shooting alpha particles, right, they would come in, but then they would deflect because they would encounter a positive uh, charge and they would repel each other and they would bounce off. They would not go all the way straight through. That's what I'm talking about here. So that explains A. Now they're saying B. If alpha particles of higher energy than those in A are fired at the plum pudding atoms, predict how their paths will differ from the low energy alpha particle paths. So now we're just comparing, uh, we're just saying that this was basically, you know, low energy. We're saying that these would deflect away. What would happen if I had higher energy? Well, technically, you know, with higher energy, it would, you know, react faster. So faster reaction would happen here. 
So we would say alpha particles would react faster, but still, they would come in contact with a positive, and then they would deflect away, whether they go to the left or the right, because two charges that are the same don't want to be next to each other. They will deflect. So they will go this way, they will go out this way. It doesn't matter. So alpha particles would deflect faster faster due to higher energy. So this is the high energy energy state. So that's all that B was asking for. Another prediction, but they're now just saying that you have now higher energy alpha particles. So higher energy alpha particles would deflect faster because higher energy just means faster reaction times and still, you're still coming in contact with positives, so it would deflect. So that answers B. Now we got to test our predictions. So it says C. Now test your predictions for A and B. Open the Rutherford scattering simulation, which is this link, and there's going to be a link down in the description that you can just click it. All right, and we need to select the plum pudding atom tab. All right, so if you uh, click this in in our description. You will come up with this little uh, link on the right hand side. So all you got to do is just click this little you know playlist thing, which will bring you to the Rutherford scattering or the plum pudding. You got to click the pump the plum pudding one. So click the one on the right, and now you're in. So now they want you to set alpha particle en energy to minimum and select show traces. So I'm just going to go over here, alpha particle, we're gonna bring that all the way down to minimum and I'm gonna click show traces. And then click on the gun to start firing alpha particles. So here's the gun over here, alpha particles, and we're gonna shoot them in and this is actually what's happening. Now they say, does this match your prediction from A? What's happening here, guys? The particles are not scattering. They're not deflecting. They're going straight through. So we're just going to say no, does not match, right? Now it says, if not, explain why the actual path would be that shown in this simulation. Well, we got to see what's going on in the simulation. What's actually happening here? They're saying that the whole mass, or not the mass, the whole part of an atom, right, is mainly consists of these blue dots. And if we look over here in the legend, the blue dots are actually electrons. So why is the actual path being shown in the simulation? Because majority of atom is electrons, which are negative. And negatives will attract the positives and they will let them go through. So that's why this is happening here because it's not the plum pudding model, right? If there was positives in this atom, or the majority of them, they would deflect, but they're not, which means that majority of the atom is consisting of the electron and the electron cloud. So that's why the actual path is shown, right? The actual path is shown. So that takes care of that. Now we want, they say hit the pause button or reset all. So I'm just going to press this little pause button and I'm going to do the reset. And now they say, select alpha particles to max and start firing alpha particles. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this now, go to over here. They don't say show traces, so I'm not going to do that. And we're just going to um, fire the alpha particles again. So now what's happening? Are they deflecting? No, once again, our prediction was off, right? So it says, does this match your prediction? No. If not, explain the effect of increased energy on the actual paths as shown in the simulation. So this is just faster alpha particles going through the atom. But still, it's going straight through, right? No deflection at all because the majority of the atom is filled with electrons, not really protons. 
So that was the difference, and that is why the plum pudding model is a no-go. This does not exist in real life because positives and negatives don't mingle with each other in like a sea of charges. The electrons are um, in one area and the protons are in another area. They don't match, e- they don't mix with each other. And that's why when you, you know, start firing alpha particles, that's why the alpha particles can go straight through. Because as you see here, it's just filled with mostly electrons. So that's why they can, f- you know, flow through and that's why they don't deflect. And that's also the reason why the plum pudding model, unfortunately, does not exist. This is not how atoms exist. All right. So I'm just going to stop this for now. But this answers the question. But you have to know what the plum pudding model was. Thompson created it. He was a new New Zealander, I believe. Um, but unfortunately, I mean, kudos for him for thinking of this. But unfortunately, it is a wrong idea. And this simulation describes why that is. So guys, I hope this helped. This is the answer to number eight. And if it did help, click the subscribe button. Um, It will give you tons more answers. And you'll be the first to know when these answers drop. So that would be kind of cool. And if you can, just give us a like. It tells us that we're doing our job right. I hope you guys understood this. I'll see you guys all in number nine. Take care.